Hello and welcome back to another How To Django tutorial. My name is Tom with Master Code Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and uh, set up our URLs for our four views that we created in the previous tutorial. Uh, two class-based views and a function based uh, and two function-based views. Uh, I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible, but this can be a little uh, long, and I do apologize. But I want to try to cover everything for you guys. So first off. Go into your example uh, directory, open up your urls.py file. I refer to this as the main urls.py file. This is where we path out to our other urls.py file. Now you could put everything into this urls.py file, but it doesn't actually make your applications very portable. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and just include our uh, blog uh, app and we'll include a new urls.py file inside our blog app so this way we can take our blog app and put it into another um, Django project and use that so let's get started first off let's go ahead and bring in a new function called include all right and then down here we're going to do um, URL and Next thing we need to do is create a regular expression. If you have no knowledge what a re regular expression is, Python's uh, documentation does a very good job of explaining what regular expressions are. I'll try to do my best working through these to explain them, but there's a lot to know about regular expressions, so I do suggest you go read them at, on the Python website. So anyhow, <clears throat> we need to create a raw string. All right, and what a raw string is, Basically, it says, hey, if there's backslashes in the string, don't let them escape characters. All right. Basically, that's what a raw string does. So R, R and then um, quotes indicate uh, a raw string. Next thing we're going to do is include a caret. What the caret says is, hey, match this, the beginning part of this string up to something. All right. And then the next thing, if you look up here, would be a dollar sign. So match um, all the way up to the dollar sign. All right, but you'll see in a second. So blog is what we're gonna give our URL to our blog app, all right? So it's gonna be, hey, match blog and the forward slash to the dollar sign. So if our URLs, for example, if it was HTTP example.com forward slash blog forward slash if we had this URL right now this would match all right so then Django is going to say oh we got a match next thing it's going to do is go where do I go from here all right the next portion of this is going to use our include function that we brought in up here and in here we're going to go ahead and say um, we want to include our blog dot URLs file all right, we haven't created that yet, but it will go to the blog directory up here and look for a URLs file. And then the next thing we're going to do is uh, include an app name. So we're going to say, hey, our app name is, and we're going to say blog. And the next thing we're going to do is namespace, and the namespace is blog. All right. Um, so what the namespace does basically is when we are creating URLs in our template or in our views or something like that, a path. Um, a namespace gives us the ability to call this right here. All right. So I could say, hey, blog, call these URLs. All right. So <clears throat> that's what it does. You will see this in a probably the next tutorial, actually, using the namespace. And you also see something called name in the URLs.py file we're about to create. So let's go ahead and create that file. So in your blog directory, create a new file called urls.py so urls.py all right in here we need a url function that will handle our urls which we just saw uh, right here url function so we need to import import that so we'll say from django.conf.urls import url all right Cool. So we imported that function that gives us the ability to uh, map our URLs. The next thing we need to do is bring in our, um, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> bring in our views. So we'll say from dot view views import 
our views and we had list uh no we had post list view post detail view post detail and post list yeah so that's what we have all right so now we're going to map our url functions and the way we do that is um the url function expects to be in a list and that list is going to be called url patterns so let's go ahead and create a list called url patterns like this is equal to a list all right in here we'll put url all right and then a comma so we're calling the url function all right next thing we need to do is set up another raw string basically this indicates our path so i'm going to go ahead and throw uh our example url up here again example.com forward slash uh blog because we brought blog in over here right so blog and then our urls that we're going to create here will go on the end here all right so let's go ahead and create a raw string r and then our sh um, quotes all right in here we're going to go ahead and um create our blog list url so to do that we just need to bring in the carrot saying hey match this and we'll say blog uh, hyphen list and then we're going to do uh, forward slash dollar sign all right so the carrot says hey match this up to the dollar sign all right if this matches so if the user visits blog forward slash uh, list forward slash if this matches then here we go here's the URL that Django is looking for so Django is going to say Oh, I found the URL. So it's going to go, all right, so now what view do I display? So it's going to say post list view. All right. So it's going to show the post list view. And when we're working with class-based views, which this one is, we need to do add a method. And it is as view like that. All right. And this will display our class as a view. And the reason why this method is here is because Django wouldn't know what to do with a class. So it's going to say, uh, I don't know what to do with you. <coughs> so we have to set it as view. All right, cool. Next thing we got to do is give our URL name, kind of like namespace that we did over in our example URLs.py. We have a namespace. We're going to give it a name. So we're going to say name is equal to a string. And what's our name? We're going to call it... Um, I don't know, blog list view, like that. All right. Um, so that that was simple, right? Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at our next one, our post detail view. So we'll do URL again, and then we'll do our raw string again, and then we'll do our carrot again. But things get a little different here, because if you think about it, if we're going to show our, our post list view, list all the objects, if the post detail view only lists one object, how are we going to reference that one object? If you go back and look in your, uh, never mind, we'll hold off on that for a second. Um, so how are we going to access that? Well, we created in the models, we created a slug, right? And that's a good way to um, access your single object. So what we're going to do is bring in this slug. So what we're going to do is do a um, parentheses, all right? In there, we're going to bring in a question mark and P. And what this says is group this together. And then we're going to bring in a variable called slug. All right. That's our slug variable. <clears throat> then we're going to do square brackets. And what the square brackets does is group the next uh, command together. And this um, next command basically says, hey, if it's alphanumeric, if it's letters or numbers match this so we're going to say w and then the plus symbol says uh basically uh means one or more repetitions so it must show up at least once this uh repetition here must show up at least once for this to say okay good i got the slug all right if it doesn't show um anything then it's going to skip it and keep going and looking for that url all right so <clears throat> Next thing we need to do is bring in our view. So we post detail view and the same as we did before, we're going to do as underscore view and there we go. And then we just give it a name. We'll say name is equal to, um, what do we want to call this? 
uh, blog detail view. All right, that that was you know pretty much pretty simple. Um, now having a good understanding of regular expressions will help you a long way when you're using variables in your URLs. All right, so I highly suggest that you go to the Python uh, documentation and read about regular expressions. I think it's pretty good explanation of what's going on there. All right. Um, next thing we want to do is let's go ahead and create our function base post list view and um, this one's pretty simple it's basically almost the same thing as this one so we're going to do URL roll string uh, carrot match this and then we're going to say uh, blog uh, hyphen list function all right because I got to make it different than this one up here because otherwise we'd have a conflict so uh, we'll call it function and then our forward slash and dollar sign. And then we'll go ahead and bring this in as our view is post list. All right. And with function based views, we do not need to include the as view uh, method. All right. So we just call uh, post list. All right. And then we give it a name as well. And um, we'll call this, uh, we'll just call this post list. All right. And one last one we need to discuss today is going to be our post detail view it is exactly the same as this one minus minus the uh view here so we're just going to go ahead and take this out and we'll say post detail all right and we'll change <coughs> this to <coughs> blog detail Oops. All right. So now you guys may be asking, how do we get slug in here? Well, we'll take a look at that in our next tutorial when we start working with templates. I'll show you how we pass us a, a variable from our our link into our URL. All right. So that way, when someone clicks on a link, they're taken to a certain page that will display that object. If you guys have any questions for me, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial when we start working with some templates. Have a nice day.